Okay, so we're going to take the derivative of this function here, log of x squared plus y squared. Now what we're going to find is the partial derivatives because we've got two variables inside. So how we're going to write that is like this. So partial derivative of f, that's the name of our function, with respect to x. And we're also going to find the partial derivative with respect to y. So partial derivative of f with respect to y. So how are we going to go about doing that? Because we've got this inside a log function here. But what we do know is that the log of some function u of x, take the derivative of that, that is 1 over u of x times the derivative of the input of u of this function here. So whatever we've got inside here, we find the derivative of that and multiply the reciprocal of the inside. So partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So we've got log of x squared plus y squared. We've got this to help us. So what we do is we treat the y squared as if it's a constant. So we don't take the derivative of that because it's not dependent on x at all. So there's no x connect connected to this y at all. It's just only with the plus in, uh, next to it. So we can deal with the x squared separately. So using this formula here, so 1 over u of x, well that's our x squared plus y squared. And then we're going to multiply that by the derivative of this. And as we're doing the partial with respect to x, we only take the derivative of the x squared, which we know is 2 of x. So then we multiply this by 2 of x. The derivative of a constant will then disappear. So for example, if that was 4, derivative of 4 we know is 0. So then we just multiply that by 2 of x. And then we're left with 2x over x squared plus y squared. And there's no more simplification we can do for that one. So that's our partial with respect to x. Now we're going to find the partial with respect to y. So same thing as before. We've got this function here to help us. 1 over u of x times the derivative of u of x. But this time we're taking derivative with respect to y. So this x squared is not dependent on y at all. So we treat that as a constant, as we did before with this one. So we can write this down here. So 1 over u, prime, uh, u of x, which is x squared plus y squared. And then multiply that by the derivative of this with respect to y. So as a constant, that will become 0 plus, and then y squared is just 2y. So then that will give us 2y over x squared plus y squared. And that's as simple as we can get that. So as we can see here, they're very, very similar. 2x over x squared plus y squared, 2y over x squared plus y squared. Okay.